to you by air. Without air, you ain't flying. Hey, yo, what's good, everybody? Oh, man. It's nice to see all y'all coming here to watch this movie with me, man. I love watching movies with y'all. I'm sorry it took me so long to watch this one, but I just didn't want to watch it. <laughs> Are they gonna do the same thing like they did in the first one? Are they gonna have toothless flying? Oh, that one was just basic. This wet heap of rock packs more than a few surprises. Bro, I just love the theme song for this franchise, man. Probably one of the best theme songs I've ever heard. Most folks enjoy hobbies. We Burkeans prefer dragon racing. You got a pickup sheet to qualify in the dragon racing too? You just can't race your dragon? Kept them innocent sheep <laughs> dealing with all this. <laughs> yeah, I got these sheep going through it. And hiccup is not even there. Nowhere to be found. It's crazy how even when y'all doing stuff that he wanted to do, he's still not even here. All you can eat feeding stations. I know y'all going through it when it comes to food though. Because of the stuff y'all gotta feed these dragons. You know, y'all also eat that too. So I know that's putting a lot of stress onto y'all village. There's only so much that can go around. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that y'all live right there next to the ocean. But you know, fish talk, bro. They gonna stop swimming over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the black sheep! The black sheep is like, bro, ain't this ruining everything? No sheep! No glory. That was cold. Hey! The disrespect getting up to your dragon. <laughs> it's always so cool when movies start off like this, you know, especially sequels. Oh, that boy doing his own thing. Okay, I see. Hell yeah, I'd rather do that too. That looks so cool. What the hell? Them dragons are crazy looking. Ooh. Yo, them boys is like this, okay? I would've threw up, man. Bro, I just love this song so much, bro. That stuff gave me goosebumps, man. <laughs> what a way to start the sequel off, man. Of course, he would invent a wingsuit. Bro, just that added on effect of her voice in the reverb in the distance is so freaking good. No longer amazing. Bro, you know you can fit right through there, bro. Why are you scared? I guess this was his first time trying out the wingsuit. We gotta work on your solo gliding there, bud. Man, you need to work on your solo gliding. He had to rescue your... Oh, that boy got the scruff now. Okay, I see you. Yeah, looks like we found another one, bud. <laughs> we'll try this on. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't hurt us. <laughs> one legged. <laughs> this boy, right, Toothless, right. play too damn much. <laughs> Like, oh, damn. <laughs> I did see like some pictures of people showing Hiccup in the second one or the third one on Twitter and they'll be like talking about how fine he is. I'm like, yo, chill out, bro. <laughs> the real question is now. What oh, the hell gonna, are they doing in the back, this. bro? We need to talk. I got a whole day of goofing off to get started. What, who, what is this character? <laughs> yo, trust me, she know her man. Oh. Thanks, Dad. I'm pretty impressed with myself, too. <laughs> she sound like Aquafina, bro. <laughs> done that I've decided. To make you chief. That's amazing. Damn, why in the stomach? You can't get me in my shoulder? Speeches and planning and running the village. That's his thing. I think what an honor. I'd be pretty excited. I mean, it does fit his character to not want to be the chief. It's just like, I'm kind of tired of seeing that storyline in movies. One storyline that I would like to see them do a lot more, and I know they probably do it a lot, I just haven't seen it a lot is somebody who is eager to take on the throne uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but i want somebody who's eager to take on the throne but they keep screwing up and then just throughout the movie they just learn to mature and actually become better and more responsible there was A dragon that can shoot ice. Tie those legs up! That voice sounds familiar. Is that what I think it is? Your mama? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's Jon Snow. What are you doing? 
Ooh, that was so clean. Before you stole all of our dragons and blasted our fort to bits. We didn't do that. We don't have any dragons that do that. There are other dragon riders? How do you suppose we explain this mess to Drago Bloodfist? Does anything you say make sense? This is what he gave me last time. Damn. I so that boy is using dragons to pretty much start a conquest, bro. To be like an emperor. Rush him, lads. Y'all are so stupid, bro. I understand that you think that you can overcrowd us, but that is not going to happen. Drogo is coming for them all. Well, I like the conflict that they're starting to build right here. I was wondering what they could do with this second movie. Still delay your retirement. Oh, he's ready. This boy replaces the dragon's teeth, bro. That's actually pretty cool. Shoot, but any of y'all excited for the live action How to Train Your Dragon movie coming out? They said that they casted Gerard Butler to be the father who is the voice of the father in this movie. No task is too small when it comes to serving your people. You let the forge die down oh. again. These you're okay. going up for a dog. <laughs> How do you have a lazy fat dragon? You know, you two are going to get yourselves in serious trouble one of these days. That is so cool, man. This dude got like his own <laughs> utility belt, bro, for all his different, uh, I guess, tools that he can use for his hand. You moron. The beautiful moron. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> she reminds me of the girl from Always Sunny. And talk some sense into him. Man, no, shut up with that sense. We can't wait around for him to get here. Let's go find him and change his mind. A chief protects his own. And that's what he's trying to do. You talking about not staying here. He's not trying to stay here. He told us to go to another island. Oh my God, this dude is so hard headed, man. Yeah, you definitely not ready to be a chief. We give up. <laughs> Why would you do that? You can't have armed prisoners. This dude Hiccup is stupid. I mean, I understand. I don't know his plan, but just to put yourself at risk and your dragons, that's ridiculous. I'm going to change his mind about dragons. <laughs> he can be really persuasive. Girl, you saying that because he give you back shots. Oh. May I? Hopefully that was his dad, bro. See how well I protect and provide. <laughs> <laughs> they really trying to go after this girl. <laughs> she looked like Reese Witherspoon, bro. Take me. <laughs> this girl is a straight fool. Enough. Oh, that is such a well, bad dragon. You. I am Eric, son of Earth. <laughs> the disrespect on your own ship. Trying to protect our dragons and stop a war. How is that irresponsible? Because you don't know what the hell you're doing. You really think you can talk to everybody, bro? You are a damn nerd. The cloak of dragon skin. He alone could keep us safe if, if you bow. we chose to bow down. Arm of dragons descended. I guess that's the best way to send a message. Boy, you had armor dragon. Men who kill without reason cannot be reasoned with. I'm still going to try. And no, you're not. Change... Are you an idiot? And if I could change your mind, I can change his too. Let me rephrase that. You're an idiot. Man, he's your father. Of course you can change his mind. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> my god them facial expressions is hilarious i'm not gonna let anything happen to you you bet to bring him right to the danger that's one weird suit bro remind me of something you'll see in the zelda game <laughs> the fact you stand on the dragon like that when it's flying that is straight up crazy I understand that you're missing like part of your wing, but you telling me you can't fly right now? What is going on? He can't fly on his own. He's, what? You telling me all he can do is glide or something? That was such a great shot right there. I love the different designs they got for these dragons, man. This boy a G, huh? Toothless. Damn, this person is able to control these dragons like that. So there's many different ways to control dragons. Is this this dude's mom, bro? Should I know you? No. You were only a babe, but a mother never forgets. <laughs> ah, 
gosh, that is insane. Where the hell did you go? In place of a dark lord, you would have a queen. Not dark, but beautiful. This always scared the f out of me. <laughs> this whole time, this dude thought you were dead. Even the father probably thought you were dead too, huh? Uh, ho hold on, wait just a minute. Wait this way. Come back here. Come I mean, you over here moving around like you Smeagol and stuff? Like Chill out, man. Questions. Can you move like a normal person? Wow, so you really telling me that pretty much every dragon is just like so peaceful, man. That can't be real. They gotta be some dragons that actually wanna come after some people. This is where you've been for 20 years? Can you come down and talk to me, please? Like a normal person? Can you use words, bitch? What is up with this dragon, bro? This dude seems like he's trying to violate Toothless. Leave him alone. Do, do you like it? The way his mama is moving, his mama look like she crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is supposed to be the purpose of having retractable teeth? Lost his leg to one of Drago, had a wing slice blind, and then left to die alone. Did Drago or his trappers do this too? I'm actually the one. Peg leg. <laughs> that is messed up. What happened to that other dragon? Got blinded. That is so sad. And then the other one lost a leg. Like, damn. And I bet you he still would have tried to use them in his army. Or he probably would have killed them and used their skin and stuff. You'll only make it worse. It was a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to kill somebody. But what I saw was proof of everything I believed. Oh, no wonder she recognized that cut. <laughs> Oh my god, that was scary, bro. You can kind of say it's like Avatar. Stoic! You and your father nearly died that night. Oh, because I couldn't kill a dragon. Ah, it runs in the family. Why didn't you come back? Like, you knew exactly where we were. And I never noticed that cut on Hiccup before. The alpha species. I don't even remember how the last big dragon looked in the first movie. But that one looks bigger than this dragon does. That would be a scary sight right there. I would not want to see that. So is this the dragon that attacked a fort? Man of my dreams. But baby, I grew facial hair for you. Me too. <laughs> Both of y'all look weird down. as hell with facial Wait. hair. If we don't turn up with dragons and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming after this dude, bro. Can he ride with me, Kenny? Uh, Kenny. Uh, Stormfly, uh, drop it. Uh, Good girl. Stormfly. Her dragon looks the most terrifying, bro. Out of everybody else's. What in the world? That looks so freaking cool. That's definitely a fun way to eat, bro, if I was a dragon. One thing I will say, I would give her props on her movement and traversal. I can definitely understand how his mom is a little bit crazy because she's pretty much been by herself with all these dragons. Oh. Here we go again with this stuff, bro. You gotta learn how to use this damn wingsuit. All this time you took after me. Where was I? Shoot, how would y'all feel if y'all met one of y'all parents so late into your life, bro? I guess it all depends on the situation. And make those tight turns. <laughs> Ew. Every dragon has its secrets. So every night fury is the same, basically. <laughs> 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 this is who you are, son. And that's one of the things that made this trilogy work. That they gave a lot of these dragons their own personality and wasn't afraid to show that off. There's no talking to Drago. But we have no. Wow, both of your parents saying the same thing. So you need to listen to them, bro. But then your friends is about to get caught up in that mess anyway. So he's like, bro, I want to try this out, bro. Why does this keep happening to me? I mean, hey, at least that dragon will keep you warm. <laughs> Damn, that's a little bit overboard. You didn't have to shoot him that much. I think they got their own, like, big dragon with the horns. The boy about ugly as hell. Oh, that's so smart to have that cape. He's like, bro, this dude crazy. What the f***? <laughs> He's like, what you screaming for? So he scares them into submission. I alone control the dragons. Is this that uh one dude in Guardians of the Galaxy? Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. 
How many? Hundreds. The whole island. Why are you talking so much? Like, girl, shut up. These kids are dumb, bro. Must attack dragon riders less than once. We will take burn. See? It's not going according to plan, is it? Straight up spilled all our business, bro. Told him everything. Dummy, bro. You're so stupid. No. <laughs> Crazy how a lot of this wouldn't have happened if these kids would have just listened. Kids being kids, bro. Especially with them being young adults now. That's when you don't listen the most. That's when you really try to prove to yourself and prove to everybody else that, hey, I know what I'm doing. I can be an adult. I don't need any help. Then once you keep getting L after L after L, failure after failure after failure, then you learn that, damn, I can't do this by myself. It's a shame, bro. Got to learn the hard way. Dude, that boy being a gentleman took his helmet off in front of his woman. What sign did I have that you could change, Stoic? This is why I never married. This <laughs> and one other reason. What, what, what's the other reason, sir? That could be many different things. Oh, shout, scream, say something. Sound like that dude used to be abusive, bro. Especially how she was backing up in fear. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Oh, shit. Damn, that me hard right there, bro. Cause I definitely was visualizing myself in that situation. Duck. Warn the others. Get him, you son of an errant. <laughs> okay, I love you again. You can still jump. <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't mess your dragons up so much where you can't even really get control of them. Anyone coming? I don't know. You just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> what? Keep cranking. Lady, can you help us and stop being so moist right now? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> she, she ain't used to all that, bro, having all these people around her. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. What, what, what the f was that? It's disgusting. No! Her meatballs could kill more beasts than a battle axe. I've still got a few knocking around in here. <laughs> <laughs> Once you move back. Talk to her, bro. Dude, man, that's your woman, bro. Remember her song, pal. I'll swim and sail on savage sea with never a fear of drowning. I like what they've been doing with her mother, because, like, now I'm starting to understand more. Because, you know, she got a lot going on in her head. You know, like I said, being by herself and dealing with a lot of stuff she dealt with. Whoa. Well, so beyond my job. Why are you ruining the moment, bro? Sorry. And love me for eternity. Man, it's beautiful to have a family together, man. This just got me really on the verge of tears, bro. Feel your arms around <laughs> oh, me. Oh, but I would make you rings of gold. Yeah. <laughs> if you would stay beside me. I have no use for rings of gold. To see exactly how his father has developed through these first two movies is beautiful. Okay, you got moves on that stump. All right. Hey. I'm still going. <laughs> will you be my wife once again? <laughs> he said, hurry up, girl. I'm trying to go home. Thank Odin you didn't listen to me, son. One of the things that is like real beautiful in some reactions is when I watch a certain movie that I don't expect to have me tear up at all, and then I'm just like overwhelmed with emotion, man. How the hell do they know to come here? Besides the obvious big freaking crystals. So are you really going to kill these dragons or are you just going to capture all of them? Damn, man, that's a shame, bro. Got dragons going against other dragons. Yeah! What? Oh, snap, I thought they probably dipped out. I didn't know they was going to be a part of this whole thing. <laughs> Yo, this teamwork is amazing, baby. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing? Oh, are they about to get them a little group thing going now? If only we had our village here, bro. We definitely would have took them out with ease. Heads up! <laughs> Welcome aboard, Dragon Rider. Thanks. Y'all need to get him his own dragon, bro, so he can help us. That looks freaking epic. <laughs> Ooh, that tactic is hard. We gotta find a way to turn these dragons against them, man. I hate his freaking screams, bro. His screams are absolutely terrifying. My goodness. How are you able to control an alpha? 
I was about to say, where the hell you at, bro? You just got this dude stepping all over your woman, bro? I would have turned into berserker mode, bro. Bro, I would have killed him when he was down, bro. You put your freaking foot on my freaking wife. There ain't no fighting fair. And then that's when I would have went after my wife, seeing that she was all right. It takes more than I want to fight to kill me. Yo, this movie is freaking amazing. It got so much story, so much epicness into it. <sighs> Bro, jump his ass. No. Damn. Are you freaking kidding me? Finish her. No. Skull crusher, go. Bro, I don't even know exactly what you would do right here. Do you focus on this dude right here or do you go and help your loved one? To me, either way, it's like you helping your loved one. All of this loss to become unstoppable? That's all he cares about, bro. It's like, what is gonna happen next? That can bring people together. Or tear them apart. My family taken. That's actually pretty cool that he has like a whole metal arm, bro. How the hell do you even control that? You need dragons to conquer other dragons. To conquer people and to get rid of those who won't. <laughs> Clever boy. I mean, yeah, obvious. Cause like you see how we're controlling the dragons and we're doing it in a friendly way. Ah! Please stop screaming. Ah! Every damn time he screams, that scares the f out of me. Maybe you need to cut them freaking antennas off his forehead. Yo, the fact that they're able to control these dragons with very little communication is crazy. And what's messed up is none of them can use their dragons to try to fly over there to save them. Dad, no. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Why did they have to kill one of his parents, bro? Like, we finally get the family together. Why you have to just take him away like that? You can't even wait till, like, the next movie? Like, what the f***, bro? No. You know that he was being controlled, but I understand that you like emotional in this moment right now, bro. I knew he was going to do some freaking messed up stuff like that, bro. Now, I heard that How to Train Your Dragon is probably one of the best trilogies. I can't wait to see exactly how the third one is going to top this one, because when it comes to like the whole emotional depth that they had in this movie, this right here has been like something else. It's been like really powerful. I know that you've taken your rightful place at the table of kings, for a great man has fallen, a warrior, a chieftain, a father, a friend. So now this dude is pretty much like forced to have to become the chief. It's like, I can barely say anything in this moment, bro. I hate when they do that stuff in movies. Like, why didn't this dude just move? Like, I understand it. This dude Toothless could have like followed you around. Or you could have just moved instead of just backing up. You came early into this world. I feared you wouldn't make it. He always said you'd become the strongest. You have the heart of a chief and the soul of a dragon. I can't even say that it was like his fault because I know at the beginning of the movie in the video, I was saying that it was all this stuff he was doing was so stupid, but this dude was going to find the alpha and do all the stuff that he just did right here anyway. So they just happened to be there while he did it. <laughs> Those are the baby dragons, yeah, because they so damn hard headed. We can't fly these things. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, how can you even fly them? They so damn hard headed. Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be lucky to get home. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, you ain't got to like destroy our stuff. Like, chill out, man. What, what, what's the furniture? <laughs> Where are you going? He said a rip is calling me. I'll be right back. Your chief is dead. How can y'all even understand this dude with everything going on and then that raspy <laughs> voice he got? As soon as he would say that, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what did he say? It's between you and your <laughs> Prepare yourself <laughs> for a hot <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he's kind of chill right there. He didn't want to eat the sheep. <laughs> it wasn't your fault, bud. So none of y'all can hey, take control of the alpha? Only it. he can? You'd never hurt him. Dude, I appreciate you actually having me the opportunity to get my dragon back. You'd never hurt me. How are you doing that? Please. With love, bro. You're my best friend, but... Oh shit, man, that shit. Don't cry because then you're gonna make me cry. 
and then this is gonna be a mess. Atta boy! The, the music here is beautiful, man. And it, just hearing him say that, that's his best friend, bro. That got to me. Yeah, that's right. Have him keep shooting our village, you know? Don't have him shoot anywhere else, you know? We can do this. Take him down, man! <laughs> She's standing by her, man. Okay. That's the real Dragon Master. Gotcha, the man! Now we need to fight 1v1, bro. One arm to one arm. There we go. Now you got this going. Boy, flying that wingsuit like a pro now. We did it! Bro, we're a whole village, man. If y'all don't jump his ass, y'all always trying to fight this 1v1. Jump his ass. Shit, this boy like Godzilla. Shit, they found another secret, baby. What? <laughs> that boy Toothless said, I'm the alpha bitch. I'm the main character of the movie. This is my franchise. Boy, got shit twisted. Fight! Fight! Shit, man, there ain't nothing I can do, man. That dude the real. Bro, they about to light his now up. You... Instead of y'all doing it one by one, let's all fire at the exact same time, bro. Can be like a big nuke. You better bow down to that boy Toothless. <laughs> Dang, you get scared of him? Hell, he about to bow down to him. Ha <laughs> ha, that boy a both of these dudes had great character development and maturity and turned into the alphas that they needed to be for their own race, bro, their own species. So obviously we're gonna see that dude Drago again. I was wondering if he was gonna die or not. I was hoping he was gonna die, but obviously not. We're gonna see him again. That boy Toothless feeling himself. To me, I'll say this is better than the last one, bro. Oh, Barf, not you. <laughs> I don't need somebody to look after him now. You, you can have him be part of your village. Come here, you. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> the chief has come home. What kind of tool does this dude get on his hand right now, bro? What is that, like his slap tool or something? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, that's what's up. He's still there, bro. I'm glad he stayed. R.I.P. Man, dang, so mad that he had to go, bro. We are the voice of peace. Oh yeah, I definitely can use that metal to good use. Oh sure, they have armies, and they have armadas. We have our dragons. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful final shot right there, man. Oh man, I just, there's not really a lot for me to say, bro. This movie was amazing, bro. I enjoyed watching this movie with y'all. So Hans Zimmer didn't do the music for this one. It was John Powell. Okay, I thought it was Hans Zimmer this time again, but guess not. I like what he did here. John Powell makes some great music too. I hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me. You enjoyed this video. Please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload my videos and follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below, man. I don't even remember what I gave the first one, man. just so cool what they do with her voice right there in that part that's like the only part i like all that other singing and stuff she doing i could care less about that but that part right there is just so good oh man okay all right everybody there we go with how to train your dragon 2 it took me a minute am i right i'm sorry that it took me so long the reason why i didn't really get into it sooner is because the first one didn't perform that well i'll put that on me the, i'll say the reason they didn't perform that well is uh the thumbnail for that video is absolutely horrible so I could tell exactly why a lot of people didn't click on that one. That thumbnail was awful. And I already know a lot of people put in the comments of this video, please don't take forever with doing the third one like you did the second one. I, I understand that. I, I love the animation here. I loved exactly the growth of the characters because you definitely feel like you are a part of these characters' lives. And for them to actually have us be introduced to his mother and to see a lot of the 
the stuff that his mother's went through was absolutely amazing as well i just this movie when it came to the depth when it came to the story when it came to the heart the drama it was fantastic they really added in another layer into this movie than they did the last one the villain was pretty cool he was very terrifying i i liked what they had him doing when it came to the dragons and stuff i really wish they would have killed him to be honest with you but i i know that they're gonna bring him back if they make uh, how to train your dragon 4 which they're probably gonna do that uh because that's one of the things that always interests me when it comes to people talking shit about disney but then saying that they love dreamworks dreamworks as of late has really been focusing on a lot of their based franchises like yeah they'll come out with every once in a while like a, a new movie or something they don't do it as much as like disney and pixar does y'all will literally be down disney and pixar's neck for focusing on toy story 5 y'all so upset about that but then when it comes to them making shrek 5 y'all over here like oh my god thank you they making shrek 5 and then, <laughs> and then when they announced kung fu panda 4 y'all was kind of like oh okay they announced in kung fu panda 4 they like oh okay but y'all still was just like oh yeah that's cool kung fu panda 4 but they over here announcing damn moana 2 and freaking toy story 5 y'all like oh f you disney dreamworks has been focusing on a lot of sequels as of late it's been like a minute since they had like some original movies bro put down in the comments below what other movies you would like for us to check out if you want to see my full length reaction to this movie other movies i do tv shows i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon i'll actually go ahead and give this movie an a plus i don't know exactly what i gave the last one i think i made it gave it an a or an a plus as well or probably an a minus or something i don't know but to speak back on like my previous comment i already know there's gonna be some people in the comments that's gonna talk about oh the reason we hate disney is because of the messages and the wokeness they put in the movie like sh shut up with all that shit but i appreciate all y'all so much i love y'all I, I love that we can watch these movies with each other and feel different emotions i hope that you enjoyed this video and with all that being said i'll see y'all on the next one all right peace